the winners of 2022. The Icon players here, these are the Raptor versions. Easy adjustment overall. Seem to be pretty good quality. Bauer rotary tool. Cut time for the bolt. It definitely did a lot better than the Ryobi. This actually fits in kind of a middle category. It did outperform the four volt Ryobi, which is to be expected when you compare the sizing. It didn't come anywhere close to outperforming the Milwaukee. Being at $45, I think you have a value play here. Compact rotary tool, the Ryobi. Ryobi did this in the shortest time. Screw on adapter, removable battery, which is chargeable via USB-C. Been using it quite a bit over the past course of this year. Haven't had any troubles. Hilti's new Neuron caulk gun, highest performance from my testing. Now here I had to take that area of the cylinder, times it by the pressure you've seen on the gauge. Hilti actually outperforming the M18 Milwaukee. Yes, it's gonna cost you, but if you want the top performer via pressure, this is gonna be the one you need. DeWalt USB power adapter and charger. Dual USB-C cable with a rating of 100 watts. The battery adapter with a charging indicator here on the front. Side USB-A, USB-C, 100 watts. My MacBook is consuming about 100 watts. A maximum of 100 watts output where you can use this now to fast charge phones, charge your laptop or MacBook, whatever. Overall, I think DeWalt did quite well on this. We'll see how it performs, see if it lasts. So the rigid right angle drill got me out of a bind here with how narrow this head is. Also the new six amp hour max battery. I hope to test right angle drills in an upcoming video, but overall I was pretty impressed with the performance of this. Another new drill here, M12 from my current testing. The performance of this is quite a bit more than the predecessor. We'll get more into that later on. Another thing to note with the M12 line is the new high output batteries. These are using higher performance Samsung cells, which it does show from the testing. So with it paused here at five seconds, you can see that voltage drop and the five amp hour has a higher voltage than the rest. Same can be said with the CP 2.5, hold higher voltage longer versus the other CP batteries. The new extreme batteries here for Hercules, quite a big jump up here. Samsung cells, 21700s. You know, we're talking a lot of performance in a decently priced package here. So definitely a boost for those people running Hercules. Definitely outperforms anything currently on the market, even the new Makita. No surprise here, the Milwaukee is number one with Makita right behind it, and then the Rigid. Has true fill technology, where once it hits that pressure reading, it will shut off, wait a couple seconds, and then try that pressure again to make sure it's actually at your desired pressure. Makita heat gun here, pretty much the same performance comparable to the DeWalt. Craftsman having the lowest CFM of just barely over six with the M18 and the Makita coming in at eight. So here we have max temp. When you look at this data, one thing is really clear that higher amp hour batteries or higher performance batteries do matter. Almost highest temp, highest CFM, you have your high low, you have your quick detach for the nozzle and you have your variable speed in the back. Latch right here, so if you wanna hang it on something, Key to grease gun, but of course this tested at the top even higher than what it's rated for over 10,000 PSI. The data from the results of running this test. So 
So what's impressive is the max PSI and the flow. I mean, a max PSI of 11,700 PSI with a flow rate under load of about nine ounces. Two speed pump with auto shift down if needed. And it also has a variable speed trigger on top of that. The Icon Flex Head Digital Torque Wrench. So here on the percentage graphs that after we factor in the plus or minus 0.5% there of the actual tester, uh, for the most part, they are within spec. Snap on after the factor of the plus or minus 0.5% there is a little bit out of the claimed 2% accuracy. The icon is sub plus or minus 2%. The LED indicators on both of these the Icon was better. You know, on top of the torque wrench, there's more LEDs on the Icon, which gives us a more clear indication of how close to the desired torque we actually are versus the snap-on here, orange, right to green, and right when those two green LEDs light up, you're at it. You only have a two-year warranty on the snap-on, whereas you have a lifetime warranty on the Icon. And this is a third less compared to the snap-on version, the DeWalt cutoff tool. Works in the Bosch pretty close, as you've seen there with the rebar cutting, but nothing compared to the DeWalt. I definitely prefer this holder up here. You got a metal holder to keep that Allen wrench in. Yes, it is the most expensive at 180, but if you're running the DeWalt line, this is it. The power stack battery this year, a rubberized base there, so that when you set the tool down on a surface, you're hopefully not marring that surface. More compact, higher performance, overall pretty big gain for those guys running DeWalt. Hopefully we see the five amp one before the end of this year. Top of the list to me is this mini ratchet icon set. T10 all the way up through T40H, tamper-proof torques. It is flex head. So it'll go straight 90, and it is 60 tooth. You can slide the extension through use it as a T-handle there. Traditional extension, you know, with your bit there. Definitely a really good value if you're looking for something like this. So here you have it. There's my winners from testing this year. Let me know in the comments below which new tool releases this year you've tried and your experiences. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you on the next one.